Hello, hello everybody, it's Shundi, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby Version. In the last episode, we played the hero and uh, retrieved some goods, some, some goods, from a Team Magma Grunt off in, uh, off in Rust Earth Tunnel for this guy here. And, well, we just returned it, and apparently he wants us to come with him after giving us a Great Ball. Uh, suspicious? Maybe. Anyways, let's follow him. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Oh, well, thank you. Anyway, I, I anyway I can't tell you how much I've great I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. Yes. What about it? Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateports? Okay. I can't say no, can I? Yeah. It'd be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. So instead of them ha coming after you, you're fine with having a young child go out into the world with a parcel possibly being targeted by criminals. Um, very smart. Then again, considering the child is the only one who's able to stop the criminals, uh, yeah, poker logic. Uh, <laughs> so uh, could I count on you to do that for me? I guess, sure. <laughs> Alright, that's right. Could, I, could you wait here for a second? He sets us up a task, brings us all the way over here, tells us to wait. Oh my god. Our president would like to have a word of you. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble or something? Please come with me. And we get tutorial music for this. Do -do 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 -do. Apparently we need this music for every time that we walk five steps on all the clear scroll. Apparently I can't sing. Crap. <laughs> Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone. Nope. <clears throat> I <clears throat> let me try it again, sorry. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateboard's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Okay, we're just getting sandbagged with tasks. Yay! <laughs> now, you should know that I am a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask for a favor with nothing in return to you. That's why I want you to have this. Ooh, technology? That device. It is a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenab for short. It is an indispensable tool for any trader on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. And you can check the lo locations of Duford and Slateport easily. Well, okay, I suppose that's a decent reward. Pokenav is a handy little device. Uh, has a Hoenn map, condition, and trainer size. Let's go over these real quick. Hoenn map, as you can imagine, shows you the Hoenn map. Uh, if you press A, you can zoom into a particular region. Note, the head, of course, is you. Uh, you can see Rustboro City gives you a bunch of stuff, little indicators. Not bad. Gives you some extra stuff. Double locations and stuff. Apparently, uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Apparently, he wants us to go to here and here. But we can't go this way because, as I told you before, this region is a dead end. And this one is also a dead end because uh, Rust Turf Tunnel is actually blocked. So, how are we gonna get here? Uh, I guess we're gonna be swimming! Yay! Send the child to swim with the sharks! Oh god. Alright, condition actually has no major use right now. Not now, anyways, but it'll come in handy a little bit later. And by handy, I mean partially handy. Trainer's Eyes is essentially the Poke Gear from Generation 2. Or, for those who didn't play Generation 2, uh, it's basically the phone. Uh, trainers may call you occasionally saying, Oh, uh, I did this or that. Uh, what they won't do, unfortunately, is say, Hey, I want to battle, like they would in the Poke Gear. Instead, the Poke Nav will just randomly tell you, or like, randomly put a little sign next to them saying that they want to battle you again. And then. You know, it's up to you to figure out if they actually do. It's, it's not my favorite system of rematches, but it is what you have. It, 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 you get, you get, you get what you get. 
I can't speak, apparently. Anyways, enough blabbing, let's move on. Down here... Bunch of scientists. Hmm, I wonder what they're working on. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't had much headway. Pokeballs, headway... There's a joke in there, I know it's... Uh, you probably just... Oh wow, that's a Pokenav! Came about as a result of our president's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like me to describe its, de its features in detail? No, 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 I just went over that. Okay, thank you, yes. How that, how this thing has anything to do with Pokemon feelings, I have no clue. Uh, what are you working on, sir? We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't had much su success. Uh, yeah, we haven't really gotten that even in the future generations, I don't think. Wow. Sort of. Kind of. I don't know. Depends on what you define as talking. I'm trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon. But it's not going well. Uh, wait two generations, buddy. Your work will pay off. Just not from you. Eee. And let's talk to you. I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils. And let me guess, it's not... Oh! Oh, it is working! Excellent! Pity we don't have any fossils. Oh well. But we can revive those that were anciently and ancient and dead and stuff and... That makes you wonder, how did fossil Pokemon technically survive? They couldn't survive and they became extinct at a point. How does re... re... bringing them back into a world that they weren't part of actually help? I don't... I don't know. Poke logic. I really should stop questioning it. Anyways, as we get healed up here, we're going to... Going to say goodbye to you. Nope. No. No. I don't want to heal my Pokemon twice in a row. That's kind of redundant. <sighs> okay. So, we have... Ooh. Hello, May. Oh, hi, Shuden. How's your Pokedex coming along? Well, it's looking pretty decent. I caught, po I, po I caught Pokemon in Pelberg Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. Okay, well... Hooray! If you're playing Emerald, Nochi will battle you here, so it's be forewarned about that. In Ruby and Sapphire, no need to worry about that. But let's talk to her again. Oh, by the way, I passed by Mr. Briny in Pelberg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. Shouldn't you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. Oh ho! I do recall remember, hey, hearing about this while we were going about, and if he's a seafarer, maybe he can help us get about to a sea route, see us? Maybe? Hopefully! Anyways, let's go on to... Route 104! We meet once again, and I still haven't done the berries and I don't know, maybe I will, but if I recall correctly, you... Okay, no, I thought I thought you'd just randomly give me more berries again. I don't know. I'm I'm derping out. Cut tree. Could use it. Nope, not going to. I don't want to turn Ziggy into a cut slave all too yet. Although ironically, I did actually I did actually plant bees. Yeesh. Clearly I have my priorities straight. <laughs> it's gonna water you. Yeah. Feels like it's been forever since I've been here, and these things are still just growing berries. Haven't gotten anything back yet. Eh. Anyways, uh, speaking of berries, I'm going to get my daily berry from you. I know, wasting time, but mer. Merpity merpity merp. Frozen berry cures confusion. Okay, yes, I know you like. I know you want candy. I want candy too. I like Skittles. Awesome. Let me know what your favorite candy is in the, in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move down here through the one, the only Petalburg Woods. Oh, lovely. As you can see, we now have the encounter chart for this place available. Cause me, gonna see if only a little bit, but yeah, Taylo and Slackoff, pain in the arse to find. Five percent each. It's just brutal. Uh, let's head on out. Do 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 do. Back on to Route 104. You, you. There's some things money can't buy. That's Pokemon. Rich boy, yeah, yeah. Money can't buy Pokemon. You, I, sorry. I, I'm just full of restored, not holding zigzagoons. Anyways, uh, this is Mr. Briny's cottage. Well then, 
Let's go talk with him, shall we? And... Um... Am I interrupting anything? You're just chasing your bird around the table. Clearly... Clearly, this is a fruitless effort, because he's just gonna be faster than you if you keep going that way. Why not cut him off? I, I don't know. Poker logic. Anyways, uh, let's talk to you once he makes his loop. I totally had it there. Okay. You. Oh. What? What? No. Oh. I fail. Okay. One more time. What? Oh, what? The? Oh, come on. Okay. I Sir, I want to speak with you. There. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. You're shooting. You saved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Well, you know, if you could, you know, get me to do for town and maybe the slate port, like... I know it's a lot of seafaring stuff and whatnot, and and fuel for the boats and everything, but, you know, I, I saved your Pokémon. <sighs> you make a very interesting case, boy. You have a letter bound for Dupont and a package for Slateport, then. Well, I didn't really tell you that, but sure. <laughs> Quite a busy life you must lead, but certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man! We'll set sail for Dufod! Well, okay, sure. Dufod, here we come! Anchors away! Pico, we're setting sail, my darling! Okay. Well then, on we go! Actually, ooh, I, I, I like that. I like this music, I really do. As of, anyway, we go to Route 105. Not gonna do encounters here, because we can't really explore this area, so... Merp. Route 106, and... Welcome to Duford Town. Ahoy! We've hit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who is it now? Ah, Stephen. Yes. Well, yes, actually. So, Duford Town, a tiny island in the blue sea. Very tiny island. Uh, no grass here, so we can't really catch any wild Pokemon, or can we? Uh, yep. Let's talk to you. You're a fisherman, right? We can battle you, yes? This is a renowned fishing spot. You getting an itch to fish? Well, I'm not really getting an itch to fish, but I'll say yes. <laughs> I hear you, and I like what you're saying. Really? <laughs> I'll give you one of my fishing rods. And he gives us the old rod. There's a joke there, I will let you find it. And as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing vest. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but for bigger catches, you need to time your poles on your rod and haul them in. Um. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I. The old rod now allows us to catch Pokemon. How do we do so? Well, we're gonna go into the bag and. Old rod. Notes, you can uh, get, you can select, I uh, use and uh, register items to the select button. So, if we're gonna do that. Do that. So, use the old rod and just whip out your rod. Hee 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 hee. And just wait. Oh, a bite! And Pokemon's on the hook. So, which one are we gonna find? We're gonna find the more common of the two Magikarp, Carp, Carp! Magikarp. Which do you I've I've gone detail about in previous battles. I'm just gonna run for this. But yeah. Uh most of your catches with the old rod are going to be kinda of pretty much what the uh hey, for any route will be basically what the table on the left says for Doofer Town. Uh 70% Magikarp, 30% Tentacool. Tentacool is actually not a bad Pokemon to catch. I would catch it, but I I don't know. I I don't feel like using it as my water type this time around. It's uh, water poison. It's got, it's mostly bulky for special defense, and you know it's it, it's decent. I, again, it's not necessarily the greatest Pokemon out there, but you know it's worth catching. I just won't. <laughs> I know it's so contradictory. Anyways, let's explore do for a little bit more, shall we? Do 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 do. What do you gotta say? Wow, you bothered to cross the sea to visit Dufer? Did you maybe come here because you heard about Brawly? Uh, no. Who's Brawly, sir? 
He's so cool, everyone idolizes him. Uh, okay, you didn't really tell me who he is, but okay. Guard your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion, yes. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. Oh, excellent. Silk scarf. That is actually a hold item, which will actually be very handy. Um, I would say give it to Ziggy, because Ziggy has normal type moves that get boosted from this. However, because Ziggy is our pickup Pokemon, uh, she can't pick up items if she's already holding one. So I'm going to opt to give it to... Um, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to give it to Kentucky for no. Actually, no. I'm going to give it to Surge for now. I call it a weird choice, but, um, meh. He's got Quick Attack. It'll, it'll get boosted by it. Uh, yeah, so Silk Scarf. Raises the power of, norm, n bleh, of normal type moves. Not bad to have, and yeah. Uh, anyways, what else have we got here? What do you got to say? Uther Town is a tiny island community. If something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. Oh god. So, anything? If anything got trendy? Oh dear. Uh, I, that could have some horrible consequences, couldn't it? Anyways, uh, wait. Why am I healing Pokemon? I didn't even take it. Wow. That habit you have of just going and healing Pokemon straight off the bat. <sighs> okay. So, uh, what do you got to say? There's a lot to be said for living on a small island like this in harmony with Pokemon and the family. Okay, nothing. Just filler text. Uh, oh. Being surrounded by people. Okay, yeah, more filler text. As you can see, there is the gym here. You could tackle this now. I'm not going to because I'd like to get some levels and stuff. And probably, you know, I'm probably going to actually deliver that letter first because I'm a responsible man. <laughs> Yeah, I wish. No. Uh, this is the Duford Hall, where everyone's information exchange. I'll explain this later. For now, however, we're going to call the episode here. We it probably didn't do too much, but you know what? Meh. What can I say? So, next time on Pokemon Ruby version, we're going to probably investigate this little area a bit more. By a little bit more, I mean maybe a couple of seconds to it. And we're going to go and try and find uh, Steven. Supposedly he's supposed to be somewhere around here in Newford Town, but where is he? We haven't seen him. And yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you. So, yeah, bye.